Teddy Biasi has the million dollar belt. He has a million dollar match tonight with Hulk Hogan, and he has bought himself the million dollar insurance policy, which is Zeus. That's it. That's all he said. I should have had a character called Lloyd London. Hey, yo. Yeah. They were still on their good side. That would have been a, st- a mid 90s yeah. gimmick. There was a show like four weeks ago where I said hey yo like four times. I need to avoid that. Yeah, it was a Christmas show. I was drunk. That doesn't count. <laughs> Hogan says he also has millions, millions of Hulkamaniacs. <laughs> what? I guess yeah, he so doesn't have millions million dollars. of dollars. Yes. I like that he cannot help but call the guy the multi-million dollar man. Yes. Like this guy, a million ain't nothing, brother. You gotta be the multi-million dollar man. That and this it, it, this is like a quick 30 second tease to open the show. That he has like two or three longer promos later. Mm-hmm. But he, and he's probably been doing it for a while. I didn't notice because he's just Hulk Hogan. That's how he talks. But he is very much into what they do now, which is say everyone's nickname every single time you say their name. Right. Yeah, but it's Ted DiBiase, multi million dollar man. He'll say it four times in the course of one promo. Zeus, the human wrecking machine, over and over again. It's, it's branded. It's different because now it's just they brand everything, but all of the promos are the same. That too. Hogan is branding, but his promos, one of the cool things about Hogan's promos. He very much does an exclusive promo to everyone's character. That's, so when he's talking the about show. the million dollar man, he's got to talk mm-hmm. about insufficient funds and cash and checks and everything is money related in his promo. Yes, that is so, true. That's and he, and he gave DBS a raise. Did he? So what, he's a billion dollar man now? No, he's a multi-million dollar man. I see. I yeah, see. we just talked about that, but thank you. Vince and Jesse are running down the show and which brings us to Zeus. <laughs> we have clips of Zeus huh. making his debut on Saturday night's main event in the cage match with Bossman, or before the cage match with Bossman, where he jumped Hulk Hogan on the stairs outside the ring. And then the next episode of Saturday night's main event, when Hogan hit Zeus with a bunch of chairs and Zeus no sold them all. And then a clip of Zeus wrestling at SummerSlam, where he used a dreaded bear hug. That's all he did, and, didn't he? And that's all we could see, yes. I do love that this show, SummerSlam has already taken place, okay? So for those of you that don't know what happened, they did the tag match, and Hulk Hogan, big boot, leg drop, pin Zeus in the middle of the ring. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I think he hit him with Sherry's purse first, if I recall correctly. Something happened. But anyway, he he beat the guy clean in the middle of the ring. So they (laughs) they acknowledge that there was a match. Yes. But they don't acknowledge anything else about it. Sure. Like, they don't, they try to pretend like, I guess Hogan didn't beat him. Sure. I mean, we're just moving along like this Zeus is still completely unstoppable. Nobody can stop him. He's, he's whatever Hogan calls him, the, he had some term he was using. The human wrecking machine. Human wrecking machine. Called him that about 15 times. Bro, you beat him. Clean in the middle of the ring. Like, but they're pretending that that didn't happen, I guess. Well, Hogan's not human. Hogan does his promo. Classic late 80s. Zeus should have finished the job. This sounds like a promo I hear today. Hit Zeus with a chair, and Zeus no-sold it. That's what they knew when he was all about. And Gene says, again, ignoring the actual match, Zeus proved what he was all about at SummerSlam with that vicious bear hug. Hogan's that ranting is. about money and investments and big bank Checks teller in the sky. And balances, majority stockholder, investing his assets. Got to bankrupt Zeus. I said all this stuff. <laughs> he opened his promo, Hulkster did, by saying his first encounter with Zeus was a warning shot. It was like riding a Harley Davidson under an 18-wheeler and coming out without a scratch. What? That's impossible. Well, I don't think he came off without a scratch. I mean, yeah. talk about downplaying the situation. Although he did. He actually did. And also, before this, there was Jesse interviewing DiBiase and Zeus, who vowed, DiBiase did, to win the million-dollar match. The world title would be his. He knows what it will take to get that belt from Hulk Hogan, and he'll pay to get it done. And here is where Jesse, I think Chris Warney said, this is going to be the biggest beating in Atlantic City since Donald Trump whooped Merv Griffin. (laughs) That's what he said. Yeah. Wow. Million Dollar Man also said that anybody can make money, but only the smart know how to spend it. <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> That's exactly well, wrong. It is. Only the smart know how to save it. Yes. That's why I, I guess he wasn't a multi-million dollar man. I know a lot of very dumb people who are very good at spending money. I mean, if he's a million dollar man, that means he's got to have less than two million, right? Otherwise, he is a multi-million dollar man. Pretty much, yeah. So it sounds like he's not that good with his money if he made a lot. So it's Hulk Hogan versus Ted, du Ted DiBiase. Zeus is interfering constantly and immediately. Finally, Jake the Snake Roberts runs out to watch Hogan's back. But then Virgil runs out. He steals Damien the Snake. Jake chases him away. And we go to commercial. I will say it was very clever because in the opening match, you had a manager on the outside that kept interfering. And it did, in fact, lead to the babyface losing. So by doing the exact same thing in this match with Zeus on the outside, there was at least precedent that perhaps Zeus might cost Hulk Hogan the match. Although he did not. I thought it was clever. So after the break, they basically just started over. Ted got the heat after the break, worked him over a lot. Zeus is still inter interfering constantly. So the Hulk up spot, rather than go for the million dollar dream and have Hulk fight out of that. I guess maybe DiBiase wanted to protect his finish. He lays Hogan out. He goes to the top rope, and I am certain he's going to get press slammed off like Ric Flair. But no. He comes off and does the big King Kong knee drop <laughs> to Hogan's chest. And he makes a cover, and Hogan kicks out and Hulk's up, and you know the rest. You don't know the rest, Vinny. Well, you, you are basically. absolutely wrong. Okay. So, first off, I love that Zeus was an actor. <laughs> And so when they needed him to play the Zeus character in WWF, mm -hmm. he acted like a wrestler. Sure. As opposed to becoming this Zeus. So he's out there doing everything that someone who doesn't watch a ton of wrestling thinks a wrestler does. He goes, ah, and he pounds his chest, and he puts his arms up and screams. Like, this guy's horrible at being a wrestler. God bless him. <laughs> So Hogan finally takes a big move, and he starts to Hulk up. Hits the punches. He hits the big boot. And he is about to go for the leg drop, Vinny. Yes. When Zeus hits the ring. So Zeus gets into the ring. He gets inside the ring, and he grabs Hulk Hogan from behind. Yes. yes this which is, is an assault. It is not a disqualification. Hmm. Now, there's another point on the show where somebody outside the ring laid their hands on someone inside the ring. Yes. And Jesse's explanation was, well, by the time the ref saw it, they were both touching, so he does not know who initiated contact. I think it was actually ah. this match. Okay. Well, in this case, we know exactly who initiated contact because Zeus has him in a fucking double chicken wing from behind. Hulk Hogan did not go to, to attack Zeus. He did not Zeus initiate that. Back no. first. Yes. So this is not a DQ. Ted DiBiase goes to Wallop Hogan. He hits Zeus. And Hulk Hogan is standing behind DiBiase. And as soon as Ted DiBiase turns around, Hulk Hogan catches him in the most fucking perfect small package. Yes. yes. Technically beautiful. Technical wizard. Hulk the Hogan. referee counts three. I, my eyes, I was just, <laughs> I could not even believe my eyes. And I rewound it. <laughs> and I watched it again and I watched it again and like each time I watched it not only did I marvel that I saw Hulk Hogan in 1989 yes. win a match on Saturday night's main event with a fucking small package but I was like just fascinated how nice of a small package it was now granted he DDT DiBiase in the middle of it well, which if it's real that's an even more effective small package but sure. fuck he pulled that thing off great and he won with a move one with a move. Well, so Hulk Hogan won with a move. It just wasn't the leg drop. That's true. He won, he won with a hold. I would call this a maneuver. Okay. Unlike a leg drop. Okay. That's a move. You know what's funny? <laughs> Tell me, right. When Paisley was little, we used to take her to gymnastics playtime, and she would jump on the trampoline, and they would teach her how to do a seat drop, where you just bounce, bounce, and you sit on your butt. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, you know, she was little, you know, 18 months maybe two years old. So then she would go around and we'd be in the backyard and she'd jump, jump, jump and sit on her ass in the grass. Like sure. do a giant fucking Hulk Hogan leg drop in the grass. I used to do this all the time. I'm like, are you okay? Like, is there something wrong with you? Why are you doing this in the grass? So 
The other day, Hanalei, who's 14 months old now, she hasn't learned how to jump yet. So Paisley will be jumping around the living room or whatever, and Hanalei will stand there and she'll do Hindu squats because she thinks that's what jumping is. She'll just squat down and stand up again. And she's yeah. so excited to be able to jump. That sounds like me jumping, actually. Yeah. So I'm rooting her on, like, jump, Hanalei, jump. And she does her Hindu squat. And she does her Hindu squat. And all of a sudden, she actually jumps and fucking sits just like Hulk Hogan. Giant leg drop on her ass. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is fucking hereditary? That doesn't even make any sense. So now she's walking all over, jumping and sitting on her ass all over the place. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know what the point of this was, but now both of my children can in fact do leg drops. Well, take take notes and That's and my point. That's not a maneuver. That's just oh. jumping and sitting on your ass. A maneuver is a technically perfect small package. Wow, you took a long road to get to a short point. I sure did. That's my job. Yeah. So after the match, Hogan is squaring off with Zeus. DiBiase attacks him from behind. And DiBiase, they're double teaming him, and DiBiase orders Zeus to break his neck. And Zeus does the big, ah, neck spin. And DiBiase puts him in the million dollar dream and may in fact be killing him until Jake Roberts and Damien return and they make the save. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.